Guys, good day. It's Shane Head for Pop Yachts coming to you from Texarkana, Texas. Got a nice little walk around we're gonna do for you today on a hard to find, really unique little boat here. What you see before you is a 2001. This is the little Hobo Vagabond 26 foot series uh, made by Catamaran Cruisers. A really popular little model, kind of what I like to call a weekender. You can go out, hang out with family and friends. It's got a few creature comforts, so if you wanted overnight on the lake, you could certainly do that. Uh, lots of cool things about this boat. Maybe one of the best things about it is that it does have a later model outboard on it. It's a 2006 model Yamaha four-stroke. We'll go around to the back and show you that in just a minute. And then we'll get inside and show you the interior. But again, it's a pontoon-based boat. It does come on a galvanized trailer. We'll go ahead and let you look under the trailer. Very simple, sturdy design. Uh, trailer's very serviceable. Only thing it needs is it needs needs the bunks to be recarpeted. Uh, but again, something very simple to do. You've got uh, a sturdy entryway to get up here at the bow of the boat. You've got bow entrance. Of course, you've got tie down cleats all the way around. Let's go ahead and walk down the side of it here. Pontoons are in great shape. A little bit of scaling just from time, but uh, that's strictly cosmetic. Your galvanized rub rail is still intact in good shape. Your sides look really good, guys. There's no, I don't really see any delamination anywhere. It just needs a good scrubbing. Uh, get some of the mildew and everything off of it. Again, it's been stored for a couple of years and there's a few things that you need to be aware of that the boat does need attention. Uh, the steering system needs to be replaced. Uh, the cable uh, did end up breaking on that, so uh, it does need to be updated. But as you can see there, it's got a nice looking later model uh, Yamaha four stroke 115 outboard, super quiet, reliable operation. Uh, we'll need some fresh fuel, obviously, uh, fuel tank and everything, and electrical all here in the stern. Over there, you can see you do have a swim ladder. We'll go ahead and look underneath and let you kind of see the bottom looking forward. The pontoons look fine, guys. They need to be scrubbed and cleaned a little bit, but these are fiberglass pontoons, a one-piece design, seamless unit, so it uh, shouldn't have any leaking problems or anything like that. Does have AC, does have a overhead deck with a, a, a galvanized or aluminum ladder on the back so that you can jump on there and get up top if you wanna hang out in the sun a little bit. Tandem axle trailer. Uh, Tires still look serviceable. Date codes on the tires are from 2017. So uh, probably still got a year or so left before those tire, tires age out on date. We're gonna go ahead and step aside. You can't really see a lot on the other side, but I've got plenty of pictures in the static ad over at Pop Yacht. So be sure and check that link in the description here with the video, but pretty much a carbon copy of the other side. Guys, one thing I'll make mention of is that uh, Walking around the boat, I was really impressed that the beddings and gaskets around all the windows still look to be really good. I don't see any any significant weather cracking or rot going on there, no shrinkage or pullback. So I think you've got a very good serviceable unit here at a great price point. And again, you do have a freshwater holding tank on here. You have AC, you have a microwave. So there are some creature comforts where you could certainly spend a little extra time on here if you wanted to. So now we're gonna transition to the interior. All right, guys, so we're on board now, the uh, little Hobo Vagabond. Um, guys, again, just a, a great little weekender, something good to take the family out, anchor down in the cove. Again, as we stated earlier in the video, uh, the boat has been sitting for a few years, needs a little bit of TLC, but you got a great platform to work with here. Uh, a lot of possibilities up here on the front, on the bow deck area. If you wanted to put in some, some uh, built-in seating, wraparound seating, you could certainly do that. I've seen people that have added extra solar up top, put their inverters and controllers inside the seats here. Of course, you can put portable and removable lawn chairs and seating. Of course, you've got, you've got side entrances here, both, star, uh, both starboard and port side. You've got a bow entrance coming off the ladder. You do have uh, an entry ladder to make it a little easier to get to that's built onto the galvanized trailer. Um, guys, just for reference, there are a couple of soft spots up here on the front part of the deck. So you may need a little bit of attention there when you get ready to make it your own. The extension here on the uh, top of the deck or the awning is collapsible. So if you need that extra space when you're storing it or if you wanna take it down for travel purposes, you can do that. But let's go ahead and hit the interior. So you've got a sliding door with a, with a screen door and you come in here, you've got a nice little seating area. 
up here at the helm you've got a two-person bench seat and guys if you'll notice and we mentioned earlier uh steering does need some attention he's got the steering wheel taken loose because the steering cable system does need to be replaced but as you can see it's a very simple mechanism uh, if you're just a little bit mechanical, you can handle that yourself. It's something any any marine dealership can easily uh, take care of for you. Of course, you got your throttle over for you right here. Very straightforward, simple gauge cluster. Uh, your dinette area back here in the back. Got another larger couch that can be used as a bed as well. Small little kitchen prep area. Built-in uh, mini fridge, small sink, microwave. AC, uh, of course you have shore power and of course you can hook this up to a generator as well. You do have a private bath closet that does have a wash down shower. This does have a fresh water holding tank. Uh, no hot water, but it is a fresh water holding tank so you can do a wash down. There's a cassette toilet in here. As you can see, needs a little cleaning up because it's been stored for a couple of years. Guys, good news is it's not been stored outside. It is kept here uh, under a covered storage at the storage facility. And as we move to the back deck, back here at the stern of the boat and transom area, of course you can see that 115 Yamaha. Newer motor than the boat is itself. And then of course you've got a swim ladder back here at the, at the rear of the boat. You've got another uh, starboard side swinging door. And then you've got an aluminum access ladder up to the Top deck, we'll go ahead and show you that. So you do have a little top deck seating area. He's got a, a uh, diamond plate, kind of a truck toolbox for storage up there. You can put floatables, life vests, tie ropes, anchors, whatever you need to carry, you can certainly put up there if you wanted to. Uh, galvanized railing across the top still looks really good. So no real issues there. So again, guys, a really good opportunity to get a half ton towable, kind of mini houseboat, if you will lots of options again there's your shore power inlet here um vinyl flooring's got a little wrinkle just because of condensation or humidity over time but again everything in here is serviceable all the beddings and gaskets around the windows look good roof here inside of the ceiling looks really good got a spot here if you want to store some stuff or even put a tv uh, lots of options here for you so there it is guys it is the look bag of bottle little little boat a little hobo vagabond available here at pop yachts and pop yachts.com if you want to see it in person give us a call at the number below on your screen if you'd like to go ahead and make an offer you can also call me directly shane head my local number is 903-293-3851 be glad to set up a showing get an offer in place for you we're here to help you so from texarkana texas for pop yachts shane head saying thanks for watching